Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog with the final part of my Easy Drummer 2 tutorial. How to finish off your files, how to export your files then to WAV or to MIDI. So with that, it is over to you in the studio. So here we are, which I think more or less is going to be the final tutorial. It's not a deep tutorial, but it's just an overview styly of a tutorial just to show you what this thing can do if you're interested or if not or what have you but here is going to be the last tutorial and it's going to be how to mix it and how to export it okay now here we have the drum loop that we had before and we're going to play it So we have that. So now let's go into the mixer. Okay. Right. So here we have all of the different um, tracks that are involved. And you can move the tracks up and down by using the mouse or assigning it to your controller. MIDI Learn. Right click. Assign a button. There you go. And I'm moving it up and down by using the button on my MIDI controller. Okay. Now, um, I can either put them all on one track or put them on a multi-track by clicking at the track number here and clicking multi-channel. So now we have the kick in one, the snare in two, hi-hat in four, toms five, etc, etc, etc. But I can do it how I want to do it. So, for example, I've got the kick and the snare in one and two. Click the hi-hat, oops, click the hi-hat. Put it in three. Click the toms, put them on four. Overheads on five. Timbali, oops. Timbali, six. Jump, oops. Tim, sorry. I got it wrong. My bad. Right. Hi hat on three. Four. Toms. Overhead five. Timbali's on six, drum percussion seven, this distortion? Is that distortion there? Yeah, phase, phaser nine. Plate. Alright, so all of these are um all of these are effects. So I can dispense with these if I want to just export them oh god if i just want to export them as um separate tracks so plate will be 10 delay 11 one shot 12 shake up 13 tambourine 14 Percussion ambience will be 15, right? And these are basically the shaker and the tambourine are basically the, the shaker and the tambourine that you see up here. But more times than not, I don't think you're even going to really want to even use those, all right? So let's go back into the mixer, okay? So you more or less can mute the delay. Mute the one shot, mute the shaker, mute the tambourine, mute the percussion ambience. So basically all of the effects you can you can mute those if you want to export the finished track in the way I'm going to do now. So let's go back into drums. 
play that. So it's, it's all dry now, okay? So it's all dry, okay? Now there's different ways of actually um, exporting your finished project. Now if you click on the top right hand corner of the timeline, it will give you the option when you click on track to export song, sorry, sorry, to export song as a MIDI file or to export song as a WAV file. Now to export it as a WAV file is based upon you having the exact settings that you've had on Easy Drummer 2 and you're happy with that and you can move that into your DAW. Or you can export it as a MIDI file where you have all this information, you have all this MIDI basically going into your, your workstation um, and you can utilize Easy Drummer 2 with your workstation and customize it even further. But if you're one of them people that not really too into MIDI and you just want to export all of the kit as a WAV file, this is how you do it. Very simple. You go into Mixer, right? So you have, um, okay, so basically you, you mute these as well. Okay, so what you do, you just solo, go into drums, make sure that that's what it's playing. And then you go into here. So my bad. Track export as wave file. And it gives you the choice whether to export at 16 bit or 24 bit. I like to export um, at 24 bit, but it, it's up to you. So you export it and it gives you the location as where you want to basically save it and you save it in that box. So let's say I want to save it in my desktop. Studio files, okay? Save it in that, right? And that's how I can do it. And then all you have to do, you just repeat, rinse and repeat. So once you've, you've exported that, come out of that, solo that, do the same thing, come out of that, solo that, and then you'll have all the files for the separate pieces of kit in your drum kit. That is how you export the separate instruments in your drum kit if you're not MIDI inclined, okay? All right, so let's go back into the drums. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is basically it. It's just, you know, just a short and sweet overview um, and, and example as to what Easy Drummer 2 can do, you know. I. I highly recommend it whether you're a proficient a proficient a proficient drummer or not these things can hook up into your electric drums your e drums as well if you so desire do you know what I mean because it saves miking up your drum kits because it has all of that stuff built in the software itself do you know what I mean so you know it has many uses many functions and you can just customize to your heart's content so I hope in some ways that I have inspired you into, into investigating into Easy Drummer 2 further. I love this piece of kit. I absolutely love it, if you can't tell already. So it's with that, back to the studio. And that is it, there you have it. How to use the Easy Drummer 2 software. I could go in deeper, but I just don't have the time to do it because I've got other things doing. But I hope you full joined um, the experience, I hope you've full enjoyed the mechanics of how the thing works. And if you haven't got it, I'm gonna leave the links in this description box below. As always, check them out and see what moves you, see what grabs you. So it's with that, I'm gonna bid you guys adieu and hope to link you guys up with the next vlog very, very, very soon. So it's with that, you don't know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness wherever possible, okay? And until we link up next time, stay blessed, my people. Bye-bye.